Peditrol Instructional Video Open the box and remove the disposable unit. Check the expiry date and the integrity of the primary packaging. If undamaged, open packaging in a sterile way and offload the contents of the pouch into the sterile field. Now, a sterile assistant or urologist can assemble the unit. Remove plastic band, identify the manifold and attach syringe tightly to the manifold. At this stage, the manifold with the attached syringe is handed to the non-sterile assistant who mounts the plunger rod into the recess of the bottom plate of the pump. The manifold is brought to the corresponding recess in the upper plate, loading it without compressing the upper plate. After confirming correct mounting of the syringe, the entire unit is placed on the floor. The sterile assistant or urologist now attaches the water source to the female lure lock connector and opens the roller clamp for water to flow. After a short while, water should flow out of the inflow switch. Water flow should also be visible in the giving set chamber, which should be made three quarters full. A few compressions of the pump will remove residual air from the syringe and the disposable unit. Now the disposable set can be attached with the inflow switch to the urethro renoscope. Once open, water should flow spontaneously. Compression of the pump will produce a defined jet of water. Lowering of the water source to the patient's level will stop continuous flow and allow for precise drop-by-drop -drop control of irrigation. A strong jet of water can still be generated effortlessly by compressing the pump, even with a basket in the working channel, even with the scope fully flexed. For safety reasons, full compression of the pump will generate no more than 2.5 milliliters. Troubleshooting Inserting the manifold into the recess in the upper plate first and then trying to load the syringe plunger into the bottom plate recess will make loading very difficult. Inserting the plunger rod correctly to the bottom recess but then orientating the manifold incorrectly with tubing facing the pump will make loading impossible. Inserting the plunger rod correctly into the lower plate recess but then trying to complete loading by compressing the upper plate instead of bringing the manifold to the upper plate will make loading very difficult. Inserting the plunger rod correctly into the lower recess but then trying to insert the manifold into the upper recess by rotating the syringe will result in loose connection, leakage and air aspiration. Pumping against an inadvertently closed inflow switch or any other tap will result in breakage of the plunger rod. Attempting to pump with a closed water inlet will result in extraction of gas from the water and creation of a vacuum inside the disposable unit. <laughs>